Although heat pumps are a key technology to reaching net zero emissions, they're not exactly a hot topic in the UK right now, mostly going overlooked and suffering from low uptake. A recent report from the UK's Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology has suggested why that might be. So in this video we're going to delve into that report to understand how heat pumps work, where UK policy stands on them, and what's holding them back from becoming a household essential. In the UK, a third of all energy consumption is used for heating, three quarters of which is provided for by burning fossil fuels, mostly natural gas. Heat pumps though provide a clean alternative for heating, and to reach net zero they'll have to be installed in close to 80% of homes throughout the UK by 2050, a far-flung number from the 1% of homes that they're installed in today. So how do they work? In essence, they transfer heat from the air and ground outside into buildings to provide heating and hot water, using the same principles as refrigeration and air conditioning, just in reverse. A refrigerant absorbs heat from the outside air or ground, depending on your type of heat pump, and then electricity is used to compress that refrigerant, which increases its temperature. This refrigerant is transported to a condenser where it can then transfer its heat to hot water to be used throughout the house. That heat exchange cools it down and it expands and is then transferred back to the evaporator where it can absorb more heat. The cycle can even be reversed in some heat pumps to provide cooling instead. Now this, this isn't a new technology, and in fact it's already widely used in some European countries, such as Norway and Sweden, which have them installed in 60% and 43% of homes, respectively. Recent developments to the technology have been incremental improvements to improve their performance, to make them more flexible as to where they can be installed, and to make them quieter. At this point they're suitable for a wide range of buildings, and are the cheapest electric heating solution over 15 years for most homes. Now they're a little harder to install in smaller properties like flats because space for a hot water tank is needed, a feature which most modern combination boilers now lack. But in these cases there is scope to create a network of heat pumps which can work together to power multiple properties in an area of high density housing. Now, replacing fossil fuel boilers with heat pumps will overall reduce energy consumption, but electricity demand, a subpart of that, will increase, probably by 25-50% to 50 or possibly even more during peak times. For instance, it could be difficult to meet demand during a cold spell with low wind speeds, if you don't have enough wind power to make up for the demand of lots and lots of heating. The UK will need significant investments and improvements in its electricity infrastructure, but that's honestly more of a context issue. Heat pumps themselves are a viable technology. So where does UK policy stand on them? Well, very much in favour. In 2021, the UK government set out its heat and building strategy, which set a target of 600,000 heat pump installations per year by 2028, a figure which equates to a conversion rate of roughly 2.5% of homes each year. Looking at how countries across Europe have been able to achieve these conversion rates, or better, there are three things which have been highlighted as important. Making heat pumps the most economically viable heating option, financial support for those who cannot afford to transition, and regulation to ensure installation quality and to phase out fossil fuel systems. And it's that last point that there may be issues for in the UK, where there are concerns that there is a lack of a long-term strategic policy direction for heat pumps. Now that's not to say that there isn't support now. The Boiler Upgrade Scheme, BUS, provides homeowners in England and Wales grants of between five and six thousand pounds for heat pumps. It has, however, come under criticism for its low uptake rate, and that its amount and duration of funding is insufficient. This is especially apparent when you look to Scotland, where Home Energy Scotland and Warmer Home Scotland go further, providing grants of up to £9,000 and zero interest loans for heat pumps and energy efficiency measures. On top of which, they also provide personalised advice, all of which has been better received. All that said, other policies are being actively renewed. Heat pumps don't require planning permission so long as they're not too close to a property boundary, albeit this measure was implemented when heat pumps were a lot louder of a technology, so is currently being reviewed in England and Scotland. From 2021, building regulations in England required all new heating systems to be designed for flow temperatures compatible with heat pumps, and the UK government's future home standard, due in 2025, proposes to effectively ban fossil fuel heating from new homes which would provide a market of 150 to 200,000 new homes per year where the dominant heating technology would likely be heat pumps. 
Energy performance certificates might also see reform soon to reflect the decarbonisation potential of heat pumps, which right now they don't. So given heat pumps are a mature technology and are set to be the future, what's slowing them down from becoming widespread? Why aren't heat pumps a hot topic among the UK public? Well, they're expensive, even with grants, engineers don't have enough incentives to retrain to install them, and consumers don't know enough about them. Right now, polls show that only a third of homeowners are interested in installing a heat pump, and that their biggest concerns were over the installation costs. And it's easy to see why. Right now, a gas boiler replacement will set you back between two to four and a half thousand pounds. Heat pump retrofits, however, vary wildly depending on the amount of work required, but can often exceed £10,000. Apply grants to that, and of course things improve a little bit, but it is now clear to see why England's grants in particular are getting criticised for not stretching far enough. Now, as heat pumps are a mature technology, the price of the unit itself is unlikely to go down, but there are chances that the costs overall could reduce by 15 to 25 percent in the future by streamlining the installation. On the point of installations, though, there is a shortage of installers, and that's making things a little tricky. Right now, there are between four and five thousand MCS certified heat pump installers in the UK, and an unknown number of uncertified installers. Though some estimates sit at around 20 percent of the certified gas engineers throughout the UK. The government has a target of 50,200 installers by 2030, which could be reached, as surveys suggest that over half of installers are willing to upskill to install heat pumps if there are sufficient incentives. But as demand is low right now compared to gas boilers, and the government training incentives of up to £500 don't match the thousands of pounds cost of training and lost earning potential, there is not enough incentive right now. Finally though, returning to consumer issues, many have expressed concern over the disruption caused by installation, but also whether the technology is suitable. But as we've learned throughout this video, the technology is ready. Talk to those who have had heat pumps installed though, and customer satisfaction is high, on par with gas boilers. These issues that are holding people back actually stem from a lack of public information about heat pumps. With that being the case, maybe consider sharing this video. Seriously, it is a lack of knowledge that is genuinely holding some people back. Heat pumps are a developed, ready technology that ultimately we will be welcoming into our homes as a crucial way of decarbonising the heat sector. Sure, depending on where you are and your circumstances, they might be more expensive to install right now, but they can deliver cost savings in the long run, and some of them can provide cooling, which will be ever more important if heat waves are to become more and more prominent, and ultimately do the world some good. In conclusion, heat pumps do deserve to be a hot topic. That's all for this episode of Science Affairs, but it's not the only energy related video we've made, so consider checking out some others. Otherwise though, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.